Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel and my name is Francesco D'Alessio and what I do in these videos is I try and break down some productivity tools, techniques and tips. And in this video, I'm going to give you some insights into the new Todoist web. If you don't know, uh, firstly, what Todoist is, is Todoist is a task management tool that is available on a multitude of devices that allows you to monitor and upload and collect tasks as you go across your day. You know, buying something next week or you've got something to do for work or even, you know, daily routine stuff like uh, make sure to uh, clean the dishes. Things like that, Todoist is that tool that will help you to provide that. So Todoist has had a massive update recently. And as you can see in front of me, uh, you're now seeing the new Todoist logo and brand. And what I want to do in this session is go over mainly the Todoist web update, but also my first week of using this new web and this new experience, this new brand, this new logo. Uh, luckily enough, I was contacted by the Todoist team, um, the CEO, Amir, and he dropped me a line. Uh, it must have been a, quite a while ago when the update came out. And and he allowed me access uh, to the new beta version. Uh, and this was just around about last week. And what I want to do is I want to go into quickly um, some of my design thoughts on the new Todoist, um, the new Todoist brand, and then also go into some of the features that the web offering has. And uh, I'm looking forward to that part. But what I want to start with is the Todoist new design. Um, this is something that I had to get used to quite fast. Um, I'm used to the previous logo. I'm used to using it across all of my devices. And this new kind of proposition is something that is brand new. It's something that's very different from the previous one. And, and I really like this brand. I think it's an absolutely fantastic redesign. It's very Apple-y. It's very friendly. It's very open. And something that I actually really, really appreciated um, getting the update for. And I'm very, very happy with the new brand. I've, I've slowly gotten used to the new logo, especially when, so for example, I'm just going to demo this up here, especially when pinning the tab, which I tend to do, I had to get used to this new symbol being there. And I really do. I really like the new symbol. It's a very Airbnb style update. Anyway, moving on to um, the actual Todoist for Web. And now what you're viewing is Todoist for Web. This is the brand new update um, and something that has had a kind of facelift, but also has added um, a little more functionality that I found quite helpful. And I want to run through some of these features with you. As you can see from the new Todoist Web update, everything has got more responsive. The new design looks fantastic. It's a little more spacious. It's a little brighter. It's got a new red bar at the top that feels a bit more native, a bit more native to Doist. And it also just feels a bit more kind of structured. I'm not too sure why, but they've done a slight tweaks to the kind of responsiveness of the site. And it, it feels slightly snappier when it comes to doing uh, things like loading and information like that. Uh, and what I really like about it is that it does reflect the kind of experience you're going to be getting on your mobile device. So to start off with, um, and probably one of the biggest updates, is the ability to quick find. Previously, when searching for things, what I tend to do is I tend to press the uh, slant uh, slash button, uh, I think it's slash button, on my uh, computer. And the quick find would pop up and I'd search for something and it would come up with a list of stuff. And I really, really enjoyed this feature. But now what this does is it goes a lot deeper with the kind of activity there. So if I type in personal, it will start bringing up all of my, uh, not only uh, tasks, but my project folders and also my tags and everything basically relevant to what potentially could be personal uh, related to the brand or anything like that. So I really, really like the way it's done. And I, just a few more demonstrations. It actually uh, brings up related um, tags. It relates of some of the things I have. And also it still embeds emoji, which is pretty nice too. So I really like this new quick find update. It's very sleek, uh, very interesting. The next thing on this list is intelligent input. And this is something that's been on mobile for quite a while. And for those who don't know what intelligent input is, it basically allows you to add a task. So let's just, you know, create a new Todoist video. And what I can simply do is type in today at 11 p.m. And what it's going to do is if I click enter, that's completing the uh, entering the task into the system, 
uh, what it's going to do is actually going to enter that automatically into the relevant in bits of information. And you've seen this from other videos, and I'll try and tag them in the description. But basically, um, you can add a lot more functionality um, when it comes to being able to do this. So, for example, if I was, you know, really quick typing, I'd be like, uh, uh, you know, pick up the dog uh, from the vet uh, next. Mm. Next. Next Monday at 4 p.m. And it would simply be able to add that straight away into there. And that's quite useful for being able to kind of like nip in a few little things as you go across your day, very similar to mobile. Um, I'm finding it much more useful on mobile than I am, at, I, I am actually using it on web because I feel that on web, it's actually sometimes restrictive because I guess it makes this schedule box here irrelevant, uh, especially when you're adding a new task and you're trying to make um, this one useful. So that's something that, you know, could be something that we we'll, we'll see we'll see i mean i might i've been using it for a week i haven't been using that feature hideous amounts but it's something that i think i might use in the future and what i like about that as well in the update they've also added much more advanced due dates um so you can kind of go a bit crazier with everything that you're typing in you know every wednesday of july 2014 i don't know 2016 sorry um so you can go a bit kind of deeper with that bit of information in terms of due dates. Another thing I like about the new Todoist is it kind of reflects exactly what the mobile version allows you to do. And on the mobile version, you've basically got a feature called themes. And on the themes, you're allowed to choose any of the available um, settings. So for example, you could keep it to neutral and go back to your kind of old Todoist experience. This really does allow you to bring some of your to-doers to life um, in your own kind of style, which is really great. And it, you know, turns all the links into those kind of colors too, which is great. So something that you can access through the settings and simply go into to-do settings and seeing it there. One other feature I found incredibly useful as I'm going across my day, and I've worked out over the past week that this is something that I think is fantastic. When you're able to quick add a task, uh, you know, testing, I'll just put here, you can now use this little extra little icon at the bottom to quick add a comment. And I'll tell you why this is useful, because say you've got a link, say you've got a bit of information relevant to this thing, um, or an, even a bit of email strip uh, or thread that you want to type in, you can quickly bung it into here. And as soon as you enter uh, that task into the thing, uh, you can see the comment come up straight away, which is great because it saves you that time actually putting in the task, going over to the comments and actually typing it in, uh, gives you, gives you um, this saves you a little bit of time when you're actually trying to get it out fast. Another fantastic thing in the update is the responsiveness has got to a new level where you can use it much more effectively on mobile. So if I were to do this, um, it is very responsive that it, it covers any of the formats that you're using across your day, which is fantastic. So it's very, very uh, sleek, very, 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 very fast and very responsive, especially for mobile web. So here are my kind of insights. For the first week of using this, what I loved is it's slightly snappier than last time. It makes kind of uh, smaller tweaks uh, to the kind of design. I mean, even this, like the new structure of that, um, that little box that pops up, the new, um, so if I'm able to tap that, those three little dots that pop up when you open the productivity, it's more spaced, it's more, it's brighter. The logo looks fantastic. The ability to add themes, quick find. I love all of these small features. It's so much snappier than last time. One thing that I had to get used to, but has made a real difference is these new circles. So if I type in a task, uh, I get these circles that pop up instead of these squares that I had before. And what I can simply do is uh, choose a priority level too, and the circles light up with that specific priority level. But what I like about this is that although it takes a while to get used to, it's actually a very effective system. I feel that um, the new kind of three-way system actually makes the task feel a little more native. So some final just short drawbacks, I think, so far. Um, the ability to change themes is a bit uh, like, so for example, you have to go into to do a settings and go over to there. I think it should be an option on here. Uh, that would be really fantastic. It would kind of make the day a little weird. Maybe you could have um, an update 
for each of the different days that you're on, you know, to do this can change color, those sort of things. Anyway, that's just a small tweak. And also I would leave about a week. For, I wouldn't rage quit on this. Uh, I would leave a week for you to get used to the new logo, the new circles, the new quick comments, the new intelligent input. Things are going to take time for you to get used to them. So don't panic. And finally, I really, really, um, I'm looking forward to the next couple of weeks uh, and months with following to do this because I think the team's growing, they're becoming more and more um, effective in the productivity zone. And I really, really think that over the next couple of weeks and months, they're actually going to be doing some, some fantastic stuff and making to do this more available on things like the web, things like uh, your mobile devices and making things a lot more smooth. If you want this new update, you're gonna to have to sign in through web, Mac, Windows, Gmail. Basically, they've redone the entire web uh, online desktop experience for you. So basically, you can get this today. It's available from today, and it's a fantastic update that you should definitely be checking out. Um, and it's really, really improved my first week of productivity since using it. I found it very, very simple, very, very fun to use. And I really appreciate to do as a team for allowing me to check it out before you guys. I know it sounds horrible, but I uh, appreciate it, guys. And sorry about, uh, sorry for taunting everyone on Twitter as well. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you very much. Make sure to have a great week and keep productive. I'll see you soon in a very, in a new video very soon. Thank you.